years old. What do I know? Uh, What's that? I said I'm five years old. You ready to shoot? Yeah. You are shooting? Yeah. Okay. I was five years old, and I was out in the yard walking around. This yard was a beat-up piece of cinder and everything else at this old farmhouse. And you think this is right around World War II, shortly thereof, or whatever. And uh, so I went around, and I saw that there was a cellar door open. A cellar, by the way, is a is a dugout that goes under the house, and usually it's uh, made so it's very, very cool, so you can keep preserved foods and things, like people can things on the farm, and it keeps things, uh, preserves them. So I thought, well, let's take a walk down in there and see what's going on. I went in, and suddenly here was this room. It wasn't a very big room, but the room had all these beautiful white walls that had been whitewashed, and whitewash gives a really white, white, white walls. And I said, wow. It's a, it's a wall. <laughs> so I went in the house and I got my broken up box of crayons, which was like a bunch of little pieces of crayons like this. And I went back downstairs and I did this little drawing down the lower right hand corner of the wall. And this little drawing probably wasn't more than about six inches square. And it was like yellows and greens and reds done. You know, hey, five year old, what do you know? You wind up doing rather primitive stuff. At that point, I had not had any art school, no art training, didn't see any pictures. I had no idea what I was even doing, except it was an unconscious happening. And I finished it and uh, walked out, of, out and took my friends back. And a couple of days later, my father was down there looking around to put shelving in or something, and he saw this thing. He came up and said, Daniel, yeah, did you do that? And I said, yeah. And so he went right in the house. A couple of minutes later, he brought my mother out. They both went down in the cellar. And they're down there, and I'm saying, oh, my God, am I in trouble. This is going to... And they were down there for, it seemed like, forever. They came back upstairs, and my mother was the one who dealt out the punishment. I said, boy, I'm really going to get it. For every minute, I was really going to get more. They came back up, and instead, we all got dressed up, and we went to town, and my mother bought pencils and paper and crayons and all kinds of stuff to work with, and I became now the artist of the family. And as World War II... World War II went further and further, and my family had moved to Athens. We had this whole uh, bunch of people coming through, every all the relatives showing up, uh, sending off someone to the war, and I would be making drawings of people. I was the entertainer of drawings. And your mother was asking you to do uh, drawings and that yeah, she colored? Yeah, my mother and I later had a thing was I she started painting, and I didn't, I wanted to paint. And she says, no, 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 you're too messy. And the thing was, the kids used to make fun of me because I couldn't stay inside the lines when I was doing crayon drawings, working on coloring books. Hated coloring books. I decided at one point, I, I guess I was about six, I said, that's it, no more. No more coloring books. I gave up the coloring book thing. Uh, some 40 years later, I did some drawings uh, for a coloring book to do with some parrot and the Statue of Liberty uh, in New York for a book. It was a coloring book. But anyway, so my mother and I finally made a compromise. Uh, she would paint my pictures, but I only got one picture for every four or five drawings I did, these big contour line drawings of flowers, and they were all coming out of my head because I didn't even think of the idea of looking at something and following it. And I did all these drawings, they were like 20 by 30 inch drawings, and she painted them, and she had her house full of these things, and I was getting my pirate, my one pirate, which was Tyrone Power is my favorite pirate in the films, and Earl Flynn was another <laughs> pirate I liked. And uh, um, and then I got into a book called Thunderhead, which was before the book called My Friend Flicka, which was Thunderhead's mother, it turned out. And Thunderhead was this big white horse, and he led all these white horses out to Montana. And I got really very excited because these black and white horses fighting each other. And uh, so I made a big drawing of that, and my mother painted that. And I'd like to see that painting so you can imagine how she painted the flesh on that horse. <laughs> it was her, her, in her primitive way.